Hey everybody, it's Bonnie with Two Sisters DIY. Uh, we've got the Honey Bunny paint today. Um, as you can see, that's the picture of the completed one. We're gonna go through it step by step so you will be able to make one, make one for yourself at home. So all of you should have your, your stuff. If you haven't watched our um, first video about how to set your workspace up, please do that before you watch this because it'll tell you what you need to have set up to make it easier for you to do. Okay, so we are gonna start out first. Um, you have little, um, your paint is in little dishes like this. Mine's not, mine's gonna be in the palette, but it's the same concept. You just get it in your dish already. So first thing we're gonna do, step one is gonna be painting our bunny. So grab a flat, doesn't really matter whichever size you're comfortable with. And let's paint the actual bunny bunny himself. As you can tell, there's outlines all over. There's wood. You can see the lines in the wood. That's your grain. So you want to try to paint with your grain. Just take your white brush and paint all of the bunny. It's okay if you go out because we're going to be using a pink over there, which will cover up any white. But I tend to take my white and go like around. Around the outside edge first. Makes it easier. Your white should be thin enough that you'll still see your your lines in the background of the, the black, like see right there? You wanna still be able to see those lines in the background. And it's okay to paint over them because we're gonna paint those lines later on. So paint around the eye. So you can see with the flat lets you get in right next to the line, makes it easier to paint it. And paint from the line out. Don't try to go like this around because then it gets hard, but just take it from the line out on the eyes. You want to keep your paint in an even layer. Don't clump it up. If it gets too thick and clumpy, it won't dry right, and you'll have like lumps in your paint, and it won't look like an actual painting. It'll look more like some 3D art project, and we're not doing 3D art today. I have my whitest flat brush is what I'm using. But you want to use what you're comfortable with. Um. See how it looks lumpy there? We're going to even that all out. See the lumps there? We got some homeschooling going on in the background right now.
You want to make sure you're getting your white thick enough on that you're not seeing too much beige underneath it from the wood. So, because you want your bunny to be white, but you don't need it to be so thick that it lumps up and looks like puddles. We don't want puddles of paint. Go into the ears. We also want to paint them white. Remember the inside of the ears, that little area right here is pink, so we want to make sure we're getting around the outside edge. And then get also this edge over here. And then we're going to do the white in between. So as you paint your board, you also want to be mindful of your edges because you'll have some edges that need to be painted too. So you want to paint it to match with what's on the top. So we're going to take this part right here and just do it in the white since that's where the bunny is. The rest we'll be doing in the pink because it'll have the pink background. 
This way when it's hanging on the wall, it looks very completed. As it dries, you can see where there's spots that you may have to fill in and do a second layer of your white. But that's okay, we can do that. Just see his ear up there, I can see some hollow spots. Remember when you rinse your brush out, don't tap, don't push it on the bottom of the of your water, and then rinse it, wipe it off with the paper towel so it doesn't hold that water in your paintbrush. If it holds the water in your paintbrush, your next color you pick up is going to be very watery and it's not going to be as nice. So my paintbrush is fairly dry. It's still wet, yes, but it's fairly dry. Now we're going to work on the outside area. The outside of the area on the honey bunny is pink, and his ears are off. Inside his ears are also the pink. Um, these are the light pink, not the dark pink. Do I have the light pink out? Yeah, I've got light pink out. Yeah, well, the white's pretty much already dry at this point. That's why we're going on. If the white was still looking wet, we'd be waiting. But I'm going to start in these areas and work my way towards the bunny because that way it gives more time for the bunny to dry. If you put a wet paint next to a wet paint, when you hit it, you're going to smear it, and we don't want to smear paint because then, then you have to fix it. Yeah, if yours is still wet, just pause the video, come back to it once it's dry, grab your blow dryer, dry it off with that. And the same thing, you see the lines in the wood, you want to paint with the lines in the wood. Now yours may not be going this way, it may go this way. So whichever way your lines are, that's the way you want it to be. It just makes the paint go on easier and smoother. You have to paint like this with no problem, it's just going to take a little longer and see how the paint kind of rubs against some of it and doesn't. I got to go back and paint more so it's easier. It gets more this way. That's your grain of the wood and it's like little bitty ridges, teeny tiny ridges. So as you paint this way, it just rubs it. Homeschool in the background. Usually, when you're in the studio, I like to go from start from the top of the design and work our way down, but I can turn this. Now, look, see? Top's painted.
So you like little pieces of paint like this. That's why I told you to make sure you put newspaper down on top of your design, on top of your table, because if you're, if you're painting this on mom's dining room table, oh. oh, I don't know, but I was giving me a message on my phone and I wasn't seeing it. But anyways, hopefully it's picked up all this. Anyways, if you're doing this on mom's dining room table, you don't want to have all those paint splatters. Let me get this back. Tighten it back up where you can see. Sorry about that, guys. Why is it moving like that? Okay. There we go. You can see them now, right? There we go. Okay, let's go back to our pink. After you get the outside painted, you're going to go into the inside of the ears and paint them as well. Mommy. They're the light pink too. Mommy. Another homeschooler. <laughs>
know it's a lighter pink. The one that one is a lighter pink than what this is, but I also have a darker pink, so. my brush. I've got to let it dry a little. I'm going to do around the outside edge still, but let's let him dry some first. That way as I pick him up, he doesn't get me all wet pinked. Doing the outside is just doing that little edge there. Can you see that edge right there that I did? I'm just going to do a little bit of the edge there, just enough to get it pink so it looks like it when it's on the wall. You don't have the raw wood sitting there poking out. I can't even tell if they can see me in the mirror, in the, in the video or not. There's no way to tell. They can't. Gotta mm. find a better way to video. So once you paint your side, you want to come back and look at your top and see where there's like a heavier layer of paint along the edge. Kind of work that.